Hey guys, I'm myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I have a fun video for you guys. If you're into customizing your iPhone, this video is going to be for you. I'm going to show you how to easily create custom wallpapers that allow you to mimic a 3D effect on the icons for your home screen. Now, I want you to take a close look here at the calendar, the photos, the home application. These apps have white backgrounds, so they look like they're sort of carved into the wallpaper. And hopefully, the video or the camera is going to do this justice. If not, when you try this yourself, you're gonna be blown away. It's a really cool app. I'm gonna share that with you guys in just a few seconds. Some of these icons here look like they're floating. So depending on the color of the icon, it's gonna look like it's either carved into the wallpaper or floating above it. Now this also applies to widgets and the dock as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the application. Links will be in the description down below. Not a sponsor or anything like that, just a really cool app called Chameleon. So there it is, Chameleon. And uh, as I mentioned, it's going to be linked in the description. Here's the main home screen for the app. Now, let me show you how this wallpaper started. So let's go into the photos here. And this is the wallpaper right here. If I scroll over to the right, this is the effect called Vex. And this one gives you that 3D effects for the icons, for the dock, and the widget, as you can see right there. That's one of the options. We'll go over that in just a few seconds. We also have the cave or the carve option here, which looks like the icons are sort of carved into the actual wallpaper. Again, same thing applies for the widget, same thing applies for the dock. And last but not least, we also have borders. And of course, borders allows you to create custom colors, borders for your icons on the home screen. So let's just get right into this quickly. And the application, as I mentioned, is very, very cool. It is free, but there's also a premium tier. And for the premium version of the application, I think it's $2.99 as of the filming of this video. Uh, but you can also use the free version. I think some of the differences here is that you can actually customize your wallpaper, the ones that you have in your camera roll with the premium. And with the free version, you can't. And with the premium, you also have access to the widgets that I have available here as well. So besides that, here is the main screen. So the first thing we want to go ahead and select is the type of effects. So we're going to go with the cave which is the one that I like the most. And then we're gonna go ahead and mimic the home screen. So I have a medium sized widget at the top of the screen as you just saw. And then for the icons, we're gonna select all the icons below that in order to customize those. And once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and go for the dock as well. So we're gonna choose the dock right here. And of course, we're gonna select the dock. So now we have the medium size widget, the icons and the dock, just like we have here on the home screen. Medium size widget, icons, and then the dock. So that's our setup right here. Then we're gonna go to wallpaper. So down here, if you choose to use a wallpaper, you can choose your very own. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and use the hello wallpaper from my camera roll, which is this dark version of it right here. And then we're pretty much set and ready to go. So right there it is, we have the wallpaper, we have the icons selected, the widgets, the dock. Again, if you have free version, you don't want to pay for the premium, you can use colors instead. So you can choose any of these colors here. And now all we have to do is save it to the camera roll. Let's go ahead and save that. And this will save the actual wallpaper to the camera roll of the iPhone. So there it is. You can see right there, the cave effect or the carved effect right there. It is kind of hard to see in camera, but we're gonna apply this wallpaper here by simply obviously applying a wallpaper as per usual. We're gonna choose home screen only. You gotta press it all the way back just like so, set it for the home screen, and now we have that same wallpaper in the black version, right there it is. Now, let me go ahead and show you the borders effects because the border effects works better with the actual black background. So we're gonna go ahead and select borders here for the actual options. So we're gonna go back here to the icons and then we're gonna go ahead and select borders and then we can choose any color borders. So the borders should be white in my opinion so that it actually has some contrast with the icons just like so. And then we're done there and then we're gonna save. So we're gonna save that with borders and now if we go back to the wallpapers, we have the same wallpaper with borders. So here we go. Let's apply that. Again, it's gonna set it up for the home screen. Make sure we press all the way back and set it here. And now we have that wallpaper with borders for the icons. And there we go. We have some borders around the icon, giving it that really cool effect. But in my opinion, the white wallpaper looks better. And that's just my opinion. I think you guys can make your own choices here, depending on what's the setup, what's the customization uh, that you're looking for. This will help you achieve this really cool 3D effects very easily with minimum effort, as you can see, for the home screen of your iPhone. I think the white looks a lot better, especially with white icons and 
folders as well. Take a look at the folders. They're sort of carved into the wallpaper. And I like the effect that the actual letters sort of look like they're carved into the wallpaper as well when you create these effects. It's a really cool application, guys. Again, it's free to download. The premium is $2.99 for additional features such as widgets and custom wallpapers. Uh, but there you guys have it, Chameleon. Thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.